Well, our top story this morning, a boat crashes into a home at Lake of the Ozarks, injuring all eight people on board. Video shows the boat turned upside down as crews tried to remove it from the property. You can see that here, right in front of this home here. Color 10's Bethany French explains how this happened. I am here just outside the Lake Regional Hospital where Missouri State Highway Patrol says some of the victims of the crash were taken. They also say that alcohol and speed were likely factors in this crash. A lot of people get confused and then they get confused on the land masses as well. So this is a unique navigational challenge, if you will, at night. Tobo U.S. keeps busy during the summer, towing boats that end up out of the water. The company towed the boat involved in Saturday night's crash. There's several of these points, you know, the topography is very gentle. It extru you know, extends out into the lake aways and people find them. The Highway Patrol crash report says the boat hit the shore, then crashed into this house. The boat overturned and all eight people were ejected. Some were left with serious injuries and others with moderate. But the majority of the time, those crashes are a result of people going too fast, uh, being impaired by drugs or alcohol, and just not paying attention. Neighbor Ethan Lee says he's surprised a crash on this shore hasn't happened sooner. It's very hard to see that point out there. There's no lights and um, you don't really see it till you get right up on it. So if you're going fairly quick, um, it could come up on you pretty quick and you just wouldn't even wouldn't even know until it was too late. Highway Patrol encourages boaters to be aware of their surroundings, especially when hitting the water at night. We always encourage people to have a, a sober driver on a boat. Um, you know, navigating the waters at Lake of the Ozarks is already difficult just with the amount of boat traffic that is down there and then just with the layout of the lake itself. But when you combine those things and then you also make it difficult to see during the nighttime, um, you know, it's kind of a recipe for disaster. Corporal Green says the driver was arrested for boating while intoxicated. Reporting at Lake of the Ozarks, Bethany French, Ozarks First.